Well, Polk County Sheriff, Sheriff Grady Judd joins us now. Uh, Sheriff, good work on all this. How did you get started on this whole investigation? Thank you, Elizabeth. My detectives, who are the very best, worked with the local police detectives, and we all do these operations over and over and over again. So it's no secret to anyone in this county. Of the 228 arrested, only 42 were from this county, and they obviously live under a rock because we arrest many people. We were shocked. We had school teachers, we had coaches, we had a former detention deputy, and you see that we had victims that came to this country illegally. They were indentured to human traffickers in order to pay their way. They had to afford $3,000 a piece every Friday to their pimp or their oh. trafficker. I, I, well, you mentioned you had a school teacher, a coach. What were these people doing or accused well, of doing? They were all soliciting prostitutes. In fact, we had two from the Air Force and one who was going to join the Air Force. We had two or three coaches and a teacher. We had a former detention deputy. And that was just the tip of the iceberg. Those people should know better. Yeah. They are public servants. But they got caught up and they got arrested. How did these women fall victim to this kind of sex trafficking? Those women from Venezuela who we just saw in that hotel room, that you say they're, they're being forced to pay up $3,000 a week, which is a huge sum of money for these folks. Did they, did, were these people, these traffickers, did they bring them here from Venezuela and that's why they're in their debt? Exactly, Elizabeth. They brought them over and this is part of what they charged them. And they... They landed, when they came into the country, they were given some kind of documentation which allowed them to get on an airplane and fly free. The government paid for it, of course. They flew and were operating out of Yonkers, New York. The lead that we have on the human trafficker is that it's an illegal female Dominican in the South Florida area. So she would arrange and set up their meets. And then they would fly to the various areas. So our nearest large airport is the Tampa airport, about 30 minutes away. The three of the ladies flew in, plus the handler, which is to watch them and make sure that they work. Now, here's what's interesting. They told us this. We haven't verified it yet. But they said every time they flew, they presented those documents and flew for free. So we said, are you kidding us? So the federal government flew you to Tampa to have sex, to, to work, and we just can't believe it. So it's not just a one-way ticket. Apparently, they're able to fly several ways. Wait, what, what is this and, documentation? I, I'm, I'm still confused as to what they're producing to get a free airline ticket. Whenever they come into the country illegally and they and they register as as on the app the on the border illegal, patrol app, yeah, yes, it's it would be DHS. They are given a document so they can get on an aircraft without identification, without a driver's license, you know, with without the proper documentation that the rest of us have to have, and they're allowed to fly to IE New York, and that's what happened. <sighs> Wow. And then these folks independently during interviews told us they were allowed to fly any place they wanted to. Now, we haven't verified that or we haven't verified how they worked that out, but they claim they didn't pay to pay to fly. It's like kind of Southwest. You don't uh, make you pay for the bags. You don't have to pay to fly, I guess, if you're illegal. Sheriff Grady Judd, good work breaking up this ring. Um, illegal immigrants helping to run it. Ill illegal immigrants being victims of it. Uh, it. It's a good thing you put a stop to it. Thank you so much, Sheriff, for joining us. Thank you, Elizabeth. We'll be doing another one before long. I'm sure you will. Sadly, I'm sure you will. Uh, keep in touch. We'd love to hear about it. All right. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.